Welcome to the third part of our series on acid-base equilibrium. And in these problems, I will show you which side of the acid-base equilibrium problem is favored. So first off, we need to decide what is our base and what is our acid. Well, we should know that HCl is hydrochloric acid. And by its name, we should know hydrochloric acid is an acid. So if this is our acid, this is our base. So what do acids do? Acids donate protons and bases accept those protons. And a base needs to have this lone pair to create a bond. So where is our lone pair on this molecule? The only place we have a lone pair is on this nitrogen. So let me do that. Okay, now what we are going to do is use arrows to show where we are making bonds and where we are breaking bonds. So, the, we always start at our base, we start at our lone pair, so we are taking this proton, and if we're only taking the proton and we are not taking those electrons, we have to show that we are breaking a bond, and we'll place those electrons on this chlorine. So, let's draw the other side of this equation. Just to save time, let me duplicate this. And we had this lone pair right here. We accepted this proton. So let's show that by drawing a bond line. And now we have a proton right here. And now let's check our charge. This nitrogen has a positive formal charge. Why is that? Well, this nitrogen has no charge at all, it's neutral, and we gained a proton, so what are protons? They're positively charged, so this should be a positive. So let's draw our chlorine, I'm just going to draw like this. So here's our chlorine anion, because we, we're going to put electrons on it, so we have a lone pair here, lone pair here, lone pair here, lone pair here lone pair here and lone pair here. So this is a chlorine anion. I believe that's chlorite. And so it's neutrally charged here and we ganged electrons, which is negatively charged. So this chlorine anion should have a negative formal charge. Now, which side is favored? Well, first let's figure out what is our conjugate acid and our conjugate base. Our conjugate acid represented by Ca is the molecule that gained a proton. So this molecule right here gained a proton, so that's our conjugate acid. And the molecule that lost a proton will be the conjugate base. And this hydrochloric acid lost the proton, so this molecule right here, or this really anion, is the conjugate base. Okay, now it's time to decide which side of the equilibrium is favored. Well, we do that by comparing the base to the conjugate base. And what we see here is we have a nitrogen, we got a lone pair on it, and we have a, a chlorine anion with a negative formal charge. And we should know that chlorine is more, it's, it's more electronegative, so it likes to have those electrons on it. And it's also relatively bigger. So what we could say here is, the forward reaction, which could be also represented by making this arrow smaller and this top arrow larger. So this forward reaction is favored because of elemental reasons, specifically atomic size. But first, what is atomic size really doing? Atomic size lets us spread out those electrons. And chlorine, all right, chlorine, I can't even spell. Chlorine is more electro negative. Let's scoot this over here, grab this. Okay. So we compared our base to our conjugate base. Chlorine likes to have electrons on it because it's more electronegative than nitrogen. Also, it is larger than nitrogen with atomic size, which lets us spread out those electrons. So that is why our products are favored in this case. So 
that would be your answer for this problem. Hope this video helped. Hit that thumbs up button so other people can see it. Comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe, and thank you.